Good Saturday afternoon. This is the Cap Guy in Oklahoma. Sold a few things. I'll go over those first, and then I'll go through the estate sales, yard sales, and Goodwill that we hit today and sourced about uh, six or seven places. Uh, first, I'll go through what I've sold. I sold a couple things while I was out today. Here they go. Um, just got paid on these. The first one is some... Uh, they're uh, Brita replacement water filters for pitchers. Picked those up for less than a dollar. I think I got all of 50 cents invested in them. And uh, $12.50 with free shipping is what I sold them for. I had them a little bit higher, and I went down on the price. I tweaked some of my things to make them sell, and that was one of them, and it sold. Uh, Bubba Gup Charleston, South Carolina t-shirt. Sold it for $10 with shipping on top. Paid uh, less than a dollar for that as well. And those are the two items that sold today while I was out. Now, the things that uh, I shipped today, and this is, I sold some yesterday, but I shipped those and had talked about them in my video yesterday, so I won't go through those. But uh, here's the things that I sold overnight and went to the post office with today. The first one, I bought it a a state sale last weekend with, a, with some vintage Star Wars characters uh, from the 70s. Um, this was in a lot that I paid $5 for the bag. So I probably got all of a quarter invested, maybe 50 cents in this. Uh, it is a 1974 camper truck, but it's a red line. And for those of you who don't know, anything with the circles on the tires back in the 70s uh, is a uh, what they call a red line. And as you can see in some of the pictures here, uh, this was just a basic car. Again, I gave less than 50 cents for it. Sold it for $22.10 with shipping on top. And those circles around those tires uh, basically describe it as a red line, and that's what it is. Uh, sold it pretty quickly. Um, probably worth maybe a little bit more, but uh, I'm happy when I do 50 cents for $22. I'll take that. Wasn't too far off the price. Next item I sold, and this one's going to be funny to some of you. This is uh, when you don't know that sometimes some of these doll accessories are worth something. I've probably had this for a little while, and I just found it and decided to put it on eBay. And within a day, it sold. It's a it's Woody from Toy Story had a lot of different hats and different movies. This is from the one of the later ones. Um, and uh, I'm trying to get my phone here. But this hat is one of the larger ones, and um, I probably didn't have 10 cents in it. Sold it for $12.90 with free shipping. So if you've got the doll and he's messed up, and take the accessories off of him and sell them piecemeal because they're valuable. Um, not huge money, but hey, $12.90 for 10 cents. Again, I'll take that. And the last item I sold this uh, yesterday or during the night I'm sorry I'm delaying everybody. I know you got better things to do. My internet, for some reason, is slow today. I sold some Oakleys. I bought, uh, talked about this in some previous videos. I sold some Oakleys. And um, in these Oakleys, I uh, I paid, I figured it up on the, on the computers and the Oakleys and everything. These were... Uh, Blue metallic, I'm sorry, black metallic. Uh, sold them for twenty-two seventy. I actually had fifteen dollars. I figured per pair. I bought some uh, TI calculators. One of them's got about thirty dollar value, and the rest were four pair of sunglasses. So I had seventy five invested, and I've sold three of the sunglasses so far, and I've made uh, forty one, twenty two seventy, and sixty nine dollars on the three sunglasses. So. Uh, over $120 in sunglasses for $75 and everything else is, I mean, I'm already in the profit. Um, so today I went sourcing and I went several places. One of the places that I went, this is, I'll start with this item. It's an Xbox 360 with two controllers. It does work. Yesterday I went in this thrift store and bought the games. I wasn't really interested in the 360, but last night I started thinking about it and I thought, you know what? 20 bucks isn't bad for a 360 with two controllers. It works. So 
needless to say, I went back today and they still had it and it hadn't actually been put out on the floor where they could, where it could be seen. So I asked about it and she sold it to me. So today, went different places, found different things, and it's kind of a mixed bag, so we'll go through these. Uh, this is not necessarily in the order we stopped, but this is what I have. Um, on this particular sale, it was a, a garage sale, and the lady was clearing out stuff, kind of a state sale. I paid uh, $8 for everything that you see right here. That includes a wood pair of uh, shoe uh horns and i'll use those probably i'll probably keep those for uh, taking pictures with shoes i sell this is a zip file that's about a 25 dollar item right there um vintage door locks a foreign electric uh converter kit two vintage fm am clock radios Gave $2 a piece for those were included in this $8 deal. So that's $4 of it. And I gave 50 cents a piece for these. These are, um, and they're in bad shape, obviously, as far as filthiness, but sloggers. I looked these up. These are definitely $20 shoes a piece, $20, $25. So I got both pair. They're going to be cleaned up, and they're kind of like a crock. But $8 for all that. And I definitely will flip that for much more. On these two, I paid a dollar for this at a yard sale. It's a wall, paper tagger, uh, can't even say it, paper tagger wallpaper remover. It's worth about eight or nine dollars. It's in the, it's new. So uh, I'll get, I gave a dollar for that. And then I gave a dollar for this jar opener. This actually is worth about mm, 12 or so dollars. Um, it is pre owned, but I probably will use it myself. So I don't know if I'll sell that or not. We'll see. The next sale, the lady had all this stuff, and I made her a deal. Um, I offered uh, $20 for everything that you see pictured right here, and she took it. First are two HP docking stations, a CD-ROM in the package, never opened, um, three Quicken CDs, and for anybody that don't know, some of these QuickBook and Quicken CDs these are 2003, 2002. They're at least $10, but some of them go up into around 100 or so dollars. You try to buy one new, and it's a lot of money. Um, a magnifying glass, uh, some sleeves for CDs, which I'll be using for some of my games and stuff, and then some other CDs. And I haven't looked into some of these software discs, but here's Astroware, Zap, uh, File CD, the Quicken Books, another Quicken Basic 99, 2002. A couple of inks. This one is missing one of them, but it's still got the other sealed. And there's another Canon ink. I get $12.99 at least on the, on the ink, even if it's expired. Um, and then this thing, this uh, Rekaton, she had it for $3, but again, I, it was included in the, in the deal. Um, and you see there, I'm trying to remember what it was. I looked it up and I can't remember now. And then a, a, a case of blank CDs. The next item... She had $30 on it. I made her an offer. This is an action pull cue and case. The case alone sells for $60. The pull cue inside is going to need to be re-tipped. It's getting worn down pretty good, but it's a nice cue. I comped it while I was there before I made the offer, and I expected her to be a little bit higher than, than uh, the 15 I offered her. She took it, but... Um, Anyway, uh, it comps out at about $115, $120 for both. So I'll do some more research to make sure I'm right on the money. It could be a little higher, could be a little lower, but the case alone I know is worth $60. Um, when we started this morning, I went to a place where a guy cleans out homes, and I bought these. This, we had a mouse collection. I only looked at the ones that had this kind of numbering on them and names, uh, some of them are more valuable than others. Um, he kind of knew what he had, but as you can see, this is 1978. Uh, most of these are ceramic or, or porcelain. Um, there's another one that back back then was 1981 was $5. Uh, this one's wood, and 
at one time somebody had it for $30. So I'll be doing some research on these. I'm not an expert at this kind of stuff, but um, one of them did break and I'm, it's unfortunate, but this is the one that broke, had a little box, but the head broke off in the bag and they were wrapped, but somehow they broke and I'll see if it has any value broken, but I doubt it. And then those I gave three for a dollar and this one I gave $5 for. And when I comped it, it's worth every bit of $20. So um, after the party, 1993, there's one in an apple where he's worth a little bit more. But this one, uh, he comped out at 20 bucks. And I went to another one where I got the Xbox. And I paid, it was actually, my total was 38 and change, but it's a charity. So I gave them the 40. I just let them round it up. These are some of the things that I got. I got a Vonage um, power cord. I get a, about $10, $11 for that kind of stuff. Here's a cleaner cassette. Some more ink, unused HP, and then some games. None of them have a lot of value, but for a dollar a piece, I'm going to grab them. I uh, don't know about this game drive, but I'm going to check that out. Most of these games have about a, oh, anywhere from a 5 to 10 or $11 value. So, again, like yesterday, I uh, I went back and they had a couple new ones, but they had these two. And I thought, you know, for a dollar, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use them. This one has the most value, I think, of all of them. Uh, and I'll uh, lot them up. Had a couple of audio books, too. J.D. Robb, Ritual and Death. That looked like it's about a twenty dollar game uh, uh, audio book, and then uh, black and blue. Don't know much about them, but I gave with the Xbox and all this was uh, thirty eight dollars, and I gave them forty. And then my last stop was Goodwill. Uh, one of the first things I spotted was this for four ninety four. It's a Monopoly Black Panther game. It's sealed uh, four ninety four. That comps out at twenty twenty two. Uh, the Marvel character I gave a couple bucks for. Uh, Captain America, and he comps out at uh, at about 15. And then two games, they're not very valuable, but again, I'm going to, the Saints Row and the Hitman aren't very valuable. They're less than $10 a piece, but I gave $202 a piece. Uh, this pair of Miss Me's, I've got a lot of Miss Me jeans, but I don't have any like this. I've been trying to stay away from them because I haven't sold them that well. Most of them don't sell for more than $20, but I just happened to be walking down the aisle and saw this. And the American flag caught my eye, and uh, I looked them up, and these sell all day long for $45 to $55 a pair. I gave $5.35 for this pair. So needless to say, I'm going to make some money on those, and they should sell pretty quickly. And the best thing I found were these new without tags. They actually had a tag, but Goodwill took them off. I paid $5.35 for these, and these are brand new, um, and they're, uh, I'm going to blank on the name. Oh, they're, uh, oh, just, there they are. Mucklucks, size nine. And maybe the person wore them once. She said they were new. The tags were still on them, but I see some, looks like, uh, I mean, they're in really good shape, but it looks like some, uh, some kind of beads or sand or something in the bottom of them. But uh, again, um, they're in very good shape. They're size nine. And they caught my eye, and Mucklucks apparently sell pretty good. I, I comped them, and it looked like about $60 to $75. So should make some good money. I paid $5.35 again. All in all, like every day, it's a good day. Sourcing, spent $108 total. Uh, obviously, I expect to make a lot more than that. Yesterday's sales of the uh, six items came out to... I spent $32.90 for the six items and I made $121.20 minus fees. And today, like I said, the total was $108.95 uh, between yard sales, estate sales, Goodwill, and the other thrift store. Um, I appreciate the new subscribers. I appreciate the people that buy. I appreciate all you resellers because I know how hard it is, but I also know how much fun it is to find this stuff. Um, please stay in touch, comment, ask questions, please share, like, and subscribe. 
Um, have a great rest of your weekend. I'll be busy listing, and I got some grandkids to watch later on today. But uh, that's always a, an enjoyable part of my day. I get to relax and hang out with them for a couple hours until their mom gets here, and then uh, uh, then I'll go back to work. And uh, it's always a never-ending job when you're doing this, but it's worth it with the profits and with the enjoyment and sometimes of saving stuff that could have been thrown away and ended up in a pile and it's going to a new home where somebody else will treasure it for whatever reason, uh, whether they wear it, collect it, cherish it, or it brings back a memory in their life. That's what it's all about. So keep resourcing, keep reselling, make some money, and uh, again, have a great weekend.